Hello everyone, it's just Jack again. Um, there's a few issues that I was having with the Hitman 2, which I managed to sort out, and I'd like to share it, and hopefully it will sort it out for you too. It's an old game, and I know it sounds contradictory to PC gamers to ever do something like this, but you have to limit the frames. This game needs to have its frames limited. Here you can see I'm doing a run through, and I had it on, I think, 120 limited frames per second. And there's just glitches. I mean, if you don't limit the frames, you'll get cutscene errors. It won't load certain things. But here's here I'm showing now the run through of me doing the hidden valley section, and the trucks don't move. I mean, basically, you get out here. That one stays up there. He's on break. He's got his taco on. He's not moving nowhere. There should be one coming around the corner and it's just parked up as well and uh, this level isn't the sort of one where you can't you can't not have the trucks moving if you want to at least get a professional rating so so here it is now and I've lowered the resolution to 60 and I think this one now moves but it's the only one that does and then it stops halfway down yep there he goes and the other one which was supposed to pass me around here that still don't move it's the same thing it, it showed me that it was um, something to do with the frames because of why would that one move so what I did to fix the problem was I lowered the frame rate to 30 per second it's an old game most old games really do need the frames locked off otherwise you're causing a lot of trouble and it, it depends on whether or not you just play a game for a few minutes or if you like me and you actually like to at least give them a good run through and hopefully complete them this is a game that's part of my, my teenage years and I want to play it again so here now I'm going to show the last part of this video where I've limited it to 30 frames a second and the game runs brilliant so we reloaded the game it's now running at 30 frames a second locked off and now he should come down and not only should he be coming down any second I think he's coming down to turn around for some reason it's this one should be coming up and that's the one you want to jump in when he goes round because I find that the guards are um, their, their patterns already going to be looking at the back of that one but now he moves and now he moves and that's what you want so hopefully this has fixed a few problems the, um, the game itself you got to lock it off to 30 frames a second to even get it run if you lo try and load this game without locking the frames off to even 120 it initially won't load up you'll just have a black screen Anyway, I hope this has helped you, and if you enjoyed it, just leave a, a like or even a comment, and um, hopefully enjoy your gaming. Bye-bye. Whoops, before you go, I may need to show you how you actually can limit your frames. I use Reva Tuner, and I'll show you how you got to add. You find where the actual game is in your folder, it's normally in Common, Steam, um, go up to the Hitman Silent Assassin folder, as I'm doing here. Uh, there we go and it should just be named um, the application should be named like hitman or whatever the game is you're trying to limit I'm going to click on that open that will then put it in the sidebar there and we want to click on frame rate limit and I'll put 30 there and just press enter and that's it click play it should now I know it does it it's going to work at 30 frames a second it works perfectly the cutscenes load up straight away beautiful Anyway, hopefully it just helps someone out. Take it easy boys and ghouls.